Hi guys and welcome back to the workshop. As always, uh, you can find this tutorial and other tutorials as well as free scroll saw patterns available at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. The other day, I received an email from a gentleman uh, that's involved in a project that I wanted to try to help him out with. Um, he's a disabled uh, military veteran and he has uh, been a scroll sawler for a few years now and he's involved in a project where a group of sawlers are trying to create a scroll saw portrait pattern for uh, the families of all the fallen soldiers in the war on terror. It seemed like a worthwhile project. In this case he has Photoshop 5.5 but uh, being that it is a fairly older version, he's had a hard time finding tutorials on uh, how to create these patterns. So I wanted to take a few few minutes here to go through um, what it takes to create a portrait pattern. Um, in this case, uh, I have tried intentionally to find a freeware program uh, to do this under rather than Photoshop uh, because this gives a chance for other people who aren't fortunate enough to have Photoshop and uh, um, the particular program that I'm demonstrating tonight is uh, Photo Plus by Serif Software and uh, I'll give you a link to their website. This is an older version, I think it's like two versions behind their newest version and they, the company uh, makes the older versions available for free uh, to try to entice you to move up to some of the features in their new version. Uh, the program works pretty well. Um, I haven't noticed uh, any type of spyware or malware or anything like that associated with it and I happen to know this company has been around for a while and I think you can trust them. They do require uh, on on, uh, online registration where you have to provide your email uh, so if that's a concern to you you might want to pass on it but uh, I think you'd be pretty safe with this one. Okay what I'm going to do now is just take you through very quickly uh, the process of creating a, a portrait pattern with this particular portrait of Elvis and uh, this, this uh, technique applies to almost all of your photo software out there. Um, you could uh, download the GIMP, which is a, a open source free uh, photo editor. A lot of people like it. I've used it a little bit. It does seem to have a lot of potential. Uh, of course, you could use Photo Plus, the one we're using here today. And these techniques also apply to Photoshop. You just have to adjust your technique a little bit based on the tools that are available in the program. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the portrait that you want to make the pattern from. And in this case, we will go to the image uh, menu at the top of the screen and go down to adjust. Um, and what we want to do is find in whatever program you're using, it will usually be called threshold. Um, so in this particular program we're going to go image, adjust, and threshold. That will bring up a slider uh, that we can adjust this one bit black and white graphic to. Now you can see we already have the beginnings of a pattern that we could cut but with this slider we can adjust this a little bit to bring in the level of detail that we want in our pattern and uh, most of the time in these scroll saw portrait patterns uh, less tends to be more. You're, you're trying to get you know the overall effect of the likeness of the image without necessarily trying to achieve too much detail. Um, you can if you like you know add extra detail but uh, most of the scroll saw portraits that I've seen that I like uh, seem to be um, uh, made with less detail and again you're looking for the likeness you're not trying to look for you're not trying to create a, a realistic type image. So let's adjust this slider until we get close to uh, what we would approximate as what we want to cut and we'll click OK. Now creating scroll saw portrait patterns um, requires a little bit of artistic ability. Um, no program out there that I've ever seen will automatically create a pattern um, in this technique that is cuttable um, automatically. You almost always have to use the tools to go in and adjust the pattern so it will correctly cut. Now I know there's some uh, scroll saw artists out there that will take this pattern right here, throw it on the wood and cut it and they will just use 
the, their uh, artistic sense as they're cutting the pattern to uh, cut as they go. Most of us, though, will want to manipulate this image uh, to give us the ability to cut it out. And again, um, like we've talked about in some of the other videos, what we're trying to accomplish here is creating islands that we can cut out and still leave a piece of, that, uh, of the wood that will hold the pattern together. I'm going to go, in and go ahead and zoom in here a little bit on this photograph and uh, I'm going to be using a, uh, a graphics tablet to do this with and I'm just going to quickly here show you some of the techniques that I use to create this. Once you've created this one bit pattern uh, you're going to use the eraser tool quite a bit you're going, and you're going to use the uh, paintbrush tool quite a bit. So let's start out with the eraser and up here we can select the size uh, that we want to erase with and we're going to go in here and start removing some of this excess material that we know we don't necessarily want to cut. So, you know, you're going to slowly come in here and work this image until you get the smoothness of the pattern you want. You can also go back to your paintbrush and add some detail. In this case, the mouth seemed a little lacking in detail, and you have to use a little bit of your artistic judgment in uh, this type of uh, pattern to uh, make it look um, make the image uh, lifelike as much as possible. So you're going to come in here and add some detail into this picture and you can see we've got some areas here that are going to be troublesome. Uh, for instance this part right here, we can't cut this black out right here without causing this piece to fall out. So you're going to have to come back into this pattern uh, with the eraser tool and slowly make adjustments to this pattern um, that will not cause these pieces to fall out when you cut them. So when you get in here, you're going to, again, have to use a little bit of your artistic uh, uh, license to uh, make these uh, come out the way you want. So what I can do is go in here and take out some of these areas. I may have to go back and add some of it back in if I begin to um, take out more than I want or if it's not looking the way I want. So again, you're going to move around here and you're going to try to make uh, these little islands that you can cut out and uh, again, in this case, the, the wood is going to be the white area of the screen, and what we're cutting out is the black. So in this case, we've created a little island of black for this eye that should, you know, be fine to cut out. And again, you're going to work your way back and forth using these different tools uh, to give yourself uh, a pattern that you can cut. This takes time. It doesn't happen in minutes. You do have to work with it. You do have to use a little bit of artistic license you know, to uh, make it look the way you want. But if you work these images for uh, sometimes an hour or so to try to get what you want, you can come up with some uh, nice images. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out to the uh, a little farther out so we can get a better look at it. Let's go back out to one to three. And again, we're going to do this with the entire image. And uh, starting to run a little short on time on this video. But again, we can adjust the, uh, the size of the brush, go in here and fill in some of these dark areas that we want to fill in. Um, again, using a little artistic license, I would probably delete all this black over here. I would go in and slowly build this pattern up um, using my paintbrush to try to get the overall effect that we're looking for. And again, you're going to have to go back and use the eraser tool and erase what you don't want to try to cut out. For instance, a lot of this uh, material that's showing right here might be very difficult to cut out. So I would probably go in here with a larger tool and actually take some of this out. Uh, again, more is less in these type of patterns. I mean, less is more in these type of patterns. So you can easily remove a, a lot of this um, black and still have a very recognizable pattern. Okay, that's the basics. Again, I'll put the link to the... Uh, website for this free program on the uh, website and uh, hope this works out well for you and uh, sounds like a great project and I hope uh, I hope they're able to achieve their goals. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next video.